Hey everybody, Laserbolt here and welcome to another video. Today we have a fun little electronics project to work on. So for a while now I've been having a little trouble with the VAT system on my 2001 Camaro. It's getting worse all the time. VATS stands for Vehicle Anti-Theft System and was introduced in the late 80s when General Motors started implementing the system into Corvettes, Camaros, Firebirds, and Cadillacs. It's a simple system that works like this. If your car uses VATS, the key will have a little resistor embedded in it right here in this little puck. When you stick the key in the ignition, it sends a small current through the puck and if the resistance isn't just right, it shuts off your fuel flow. It's actually a pretty good system, it served them well for years. After all, this is a simple resistor, not a chip of any kind. There's no battery, it's just a plain old resistor that'll last virtually forever. Well the problem is, now that a lot of these cars are around 30 years old, the wiring that checks the resistance running from the starter down through the steering column and into the car's computer starts to fail. Especially if you have a tilt steering wheel that can crimp it. And that's what's been happening to my Camaro. It's left me stranded a few times. Not good. Alright, so I decided enough is enough. I'm going to take my car to the shop and see what a mechanic can do for me. Well, the mechanic told me it's going to cost over 500 bucks. He said they'll have to replace the entire locking mechanism, the ignition cylinder, and all the wiring going down to the computer. When I told him I did a little research online and saw how some people are bypassing the system altogether and I'm thinking of trying that, he told me that it's impossible and it doesn't work that way and that all these people online are just wrong. Well, nuts to that! Unless these keys use some kind of special resistor that's unlike every other resistor on the planet, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't work. Let's pull out the multimeter and check the resistance on my key here. You can see on this chart how there's 15 different key possibilities, each with different resistances. We'll just put this on the 20K setting, and here we go. We're getting a reading of 4.66, which falls into this range, making ours a key number 11. What we're going to do is we need to find this long orange wire running down the steering column that has a couple smaller white wires coming out of it that go into the car's computer. But right before the computer, we're going to add a series of resistors that add up to the correct ohms, hopefully tricking the system and bypassing the corrupted wire altogether. You'll still need the correct key to start the car, but the VAT system is negated entirely. In theory, anyway. Now let's solder together a series of resistors that adds up to roughly 4,660 ohms. Let's see here, we can start with a couple of these, uh, then maybe add one of these. Hey, hold on, what's this? A little package of 4,700 ohms. Well, that's awful close to the 4660 I'm looking for. I think we could probably do this with just one resistor. Neat. And looky there, this one tests at a perfect 4.6K. Let's go. Well, let's see what tools we're going to need. Uh, of course, a wire stripper is always handy. We're also going to need a 7mm socket and a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the panel underneath the steering column. And don't forget the black electrical tape for keeping everything tidy. And there you go. Seems simple enough. Let's give it a try. Best car I ever owned. Love this gal. Hang in there, girly. We're going to get you all fixed up. Yeah, she needs a good spring cleaning, but ain't spring yet. All right, first let's remove these two screws here and then remove the two bolts at the bottom and the panel just pops right off. Okay, let's look around a little back here and there's the orange and white culprit we're looking for. That's gotta be the one, right? All right, I cut the wire and I suppose one way to make sure it's the right one is to try to start the car. Here we go. Um, if this starts, we have a problem because that means we cut the wrong one. <laughs> so far, so good. Now we just gotta strip these wires here and attach that resistor. Since resistors are directionless, it doesn't really matter which way we put this. And there you go, just that simple. Now we're ready to find out if this worked, or was the mechanic right all along? 
Now I gotta admit, it did seem a little easy, but let's find out. And boom, there you go, baby. Fantastic. And look at that. All it cost me was 10 minutes of my time and a two cent resistor. Nice. I am pretty stoked about this. It's a big relief knowing I shouldn't have any more trouble with rats. And now we'll wrap everything real good in electrical tape and we're done here. Well, alrighty, there you go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye now.